procedure on her to raise the header of uh, fifth metatarsal. Do this mainly invasive. If you look at the bottom of her foot, she has a pretty pretty bad ulcer has started here. Very infected when she came in. We gave her uh, Bactrim, and that's gotten her better. Uh, she did have a it is a MRSA infection. Most likely, I don't think we did we did not culture it. Um, if you look at the uh, tri our, our little pick here, you can see kind of the fading out of the bone over here, which would indicate some osteomyelitis. So what we're going to do, we're going to go behind the bone infection in the, into the bone here, and we're going to make an osteotomy to lift this off the, the bottom here. So that will give her pressure off and make the alteration heal. That's what we're going to do today. And of course, you'll continue to take an antibiotic until, that's, until it's completely healed. Okay, today we're following up on uh, her for a um, ulceration on the fifth metatarsal. This is four weeks later, and you can see we've got a lot of healing already. What we did with her was we basically did an osteotomy on the, on the fifth metatarsal, let that bone raise up. She does have bone infection. She has uh, osteomyelitis in the foot, but even in presence of osteomyelitis, you can heal these ulcers if you... Uh, take pressure off the ulcer, and that's, that's the idea behind all this. Alright, so what we got here, this is what's left from, uh, we did a minimally invasive uh, metatarsal osteotomy to get rid of a chronic ulcer here. She's done real well with it. The ulcer was pretty significant, and even on the x-rays we could see a uh, bone infection beginning in her foot. So now, if you look at the, you can look at the top too. Everything looks really good now. We made a small incision here, and behind the infection raised this fifth metatarsal. So now she, the ulcer is uh, has resolved, and even in the bone, we did an X-ray today. The osteomyelitis in the head of the bone is improving as well. We do have her on oral antibiotics, so, you know, to keep this at bay, and we're going to switch that down to one pill a day now. Uh, so we got getting her better and better, and it looks like this is going to be a successful surgery despite the fact she did get bone infection. A lot easier to fix this before the infection, but sometimes, you know, it, it sneaks up on you when you have this kind of thing. But I'm uh, doing well, we're glad it's doing well for her.